In this video, I'm going to teach you how to transfer eSIM from a broken iPhone. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. If your old iPhone is broken and it had an eSIM attached to it, you can transfer it over to a new one. However, this process isn't something that you can do yourself. So, in general, if you are assigned with a carrier that uses eSIMs and you had it activated on your old iPhone that broke down, the only way to transfer it over to a new one is going to be by contacting the carrier. This is one of the disadvantages for eSIMs. Sadly, there is no easy way for you as a customer to be able to transfer it over yourself. So you will have to visit the official website for your carrier or call them at a specific number. So reach out to their customer support. As an example, I have AT&T and T-Mobile. So you just visit their website, mobile app, or you call them at this specific number, whatever you prefer, and you inform them that your old iPhone is broken and you need to transfer your eSIM. So all that you have to do is type transfer eSIM on the mobile, on the customer support page, sorry. And as you can see, they will give you instructions. So you will have to follow specific, specific prompts from their customer support to be able to get this done. Once you are in line with them and they are able to help you to activate the new ASIM, it is going to be usable on the new device. They will most likely ship you a new eSIM QR code or activation code that you use on the new device. So as long as you use their mobile app or call them at a specific number, you will be able to get this done. So I hope I was able to help you. If this video helped you, please consider subscribing because as you can see, 83% of the people watching our videos are not subscribed. By subscribing, you can help us make higher quality videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.